Welcome. My name is George Pearson, and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos in my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques you'll find in various software programs. Right now, I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video, though, is different. This is part of a new series of longer demonstrations that I'm doing to show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish using a variety of techniques and tools. All of the images I use in these projects are in the public domain and I've included a link to the pictures in the video description in case you want to work along using the same images. Okay, let's move on to the project. In this Photoshop wedding photography video, I'll show you how to do a trick which is called split toning. And we're going to be adding in tones into a black and white image to give it a lot more life, a lot more interest. Here's our original image we'll be working with. Notice how this has a nice separation here, a nice range of gradients, you know, bright white down here and up in there. Pure blacks in a few spots here, and then a good range in between. It's an ideal kind of picture for this technique. Look over here to a finished copy, and there we go. There is the split toning version of that. Here it is without, and there it is with. So we've added in some coloration in here. In the top, we have gold, and then towards the bottom, we have some, some blue tones. And luckily, in this image, our bottom area pretty much is our, our figures, and the top area tends to be background, except for the hat. So it works out very, very well for doing this. You can see over here, this is done by using a fill layer. In this case, it's a gradient fill layer. And then we are blending that using the color blend technique. And we have an opacity set here at 69. Okay, let's see how this whole thing is done. We'll start off here with our original image. And then we want to add a gradient layer onto this. So go up here to Layer, New Fill Layer, Gradient right there. Now this first dialog box, you can just leave this as is. This is just settings for the layer itself. Choose OK. There it is. That gives us our gradient layer and the gradient fill dialog box. Now here we can choose which gradient we want to apply to our image. By default, oh, get that out of the way. There we go. By default, it's going to be showing you your standard gradients. This is what you know the standard set, and it's going to most likely be showing you unless you've done something else recently, it'll be showing you your foreground color to a transparency in there. That's fine. But what we want is a different set of filters. We want to bring in our photographic filters. Click on the little down arrow right there. And then over here, a little gear icon, click on that. And at the bottom here, we have additional gradient sets. And the one that we want is right there, photographic tonings. Click on that. Choose a pen. This will add the gradients in after our standard set. If you choose OK, it's just going to replace these with the photos. We would just want to add them onto the end here. So choose a pen, adds them onto the end. So there we go. There is our set. Now, on all of these, you can apply these different tones, just like that. It actually applies a gradient. Notice how we are only seeing the gradient and nothing in behind. It actually puts in a solid gradient. So the first thing you want to do is to find the gradient that you want to use. Notice some of these down here, they have multiple colors going on in those. And that's the kind of thing we want. We want to have a nice multiple color gradient down here. And we'll just click through and see what looks interesting. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'll go with this one. This one's a gold to blue gradient. But again, you have lots and lots to choose from on this choose OK. All right, that fills this layer with that gold to blue gradient. We now want to blend this layer into our background layer. And we'll do that with the blending modes. Now we want to blend just the color part of this. So we'll use the color option. Now it's just off of my screen down here, but just down below here you'll find hue, saturation, color, luminosity. Click on color. There it is. And that blends this, but just where the color is happening. That way we keep our whole black and white image, and we've just added in that toning on the color blending mode. Now you can control how much color you have by working with the opacity. If I bring this way down as I go this clear away, put it about halfway up, 
in there I have a little bit bring a little further up so you can get more so you can control how much tone you want to have in here using this slider control notice that almost gives you a full color look when you do this kind of split tone effect again very very easy technique I'll just a little bit more this time last time I did 69 putting a little more color in this time but there it is as you can see real real easy let me just show you those steps again I'll just review those since it's pretty quick to do this have your black and white image make sure it has good contrast variations in there layer new fill layer gradient choose OK there it is if you don't have your photo gradients up click on the little gear icon and choose photographic toning right down there choose one of these different tones in here I'll do it all blues this time just for a variation choose OK that sets it as a gradient now notice if I brought the opacity down I get this kind of strange thing you don't want that you want to blend this with your background so blending mode color just off screen I'll click on that color and that blends that with your background again notice how we get that gradient happening in here there's no gradient down here it is a lot of gradient in the middle and not too much up there so there it is easy to do real nice way to add a lot of interest into your image I just, I just kind of like this one I tried a few and I happen to like this one the best on this particular picture with the cools down below and the warms up above but there you go that's how to do split toning adding a lot of interest into a black and white photograph Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.